Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hear all your comments asking for the next episode of the Immersive Railroading Let's Play. However, before I start making strides towards the heavy machinery, I lack a very critical ingredient that will most definitely help in the long term. I don't know how to make an iron farm. And in today's video, that will change. I'm sorry about the long wait for the next episode in the Immersive Railroading Let's Play. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff ready in between episodes so that you guys get to see a lot of progress per episode. With all that said, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, of course, consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell. On top of that, don't forget to drop a like on the video as well as a comment for the algorithm. That's enough out of me. Enjoy the video. So my knowledge of how to actually do this and make one of these iron farms is very, very limited. I know you have to scare villagers with zombies and from that interaction, zombies will spawn, or not zombies, <laughs> iron golems will spawn. And then you have to somehow figure out how to collect the golems and then kill them and grab the drops. That That's a bit, that's about all I know. So what I'm gonna try, <laughs> try is the keyword. What I'm gonna try and do is See if I can use that knowledge and make something work. And as you can tell, I'm in the workshop world currently because figuring things out is what we do here. So uh, uh, welcome back to the workshop series, I guess. I think my biggest concern right now is how do I predict where a iron golem will spawn? I did watch one video on how to build one of these from start to finish, but you know, I'm not very confident in my own abilities. So I'm just gonna try and throw together my own interpretation of the design and just see where it ends up. He put water in the thing and then I'm gonna get name tags because I know I need name tags because the zombies will despawn. Okay, you can go in there, you can go in there, you can be, okay, okay. So if you couldn't already tell, what I'm doing is having one zombie for two villagers? I don't know. Again, I my knowledge of this kind of thing is very limited. So you're gonna have to bear with me in my trial and error. You could have a bed, 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 you you already have a bed. Villager, 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 villager. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So in that video, something else this guy did, he covered the whole roof of his thing. And actually, if I want this to be a square, I'm gonna add one more row, hang on. Let's get some other blocks and I'll just cover the top of this. And I'm gonna see where we end up. Also, I'm worried if this is enclosed in a box, are they just gonna spawn outside of the box? Is there a really, 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 really specific way I need to do this or is this gonna be okay? We're just gonna sneak through here and replace all the blocks so that there's a direct line of sight for the villagers. I should replace this with glass, shouldn't I? So I can actually watch what's going on. Let me take another page out of the the the, the uh, book of the video, which was by Waddles, I think his name would be pronounced. W-A-T-T-L-E-S. Waddles. He like used walls around the thing and like did this weird thing, I don't know. But he put a bunch of water in the top and then like iron golems just started showing up. I do not appear to have built this properly. Is it because the villagers can't see each other? I don't know. I'm not seeing any golems. So I'm guessing is that this only works if this is considered a village. I think I'm gonna scrap this and try again. I've had an idea. I realized something about all the iron farms that I've seen on the internet. They're all in the air. And I'm guessing that is to narrow down the amount of spawning space that, you know, the iron golems have. So I'm gonna build mine a little bit up in the air. Oh gosh, how could I do this? I'm trying to think of a way where I could, cause here's my, here's, here's my current theory. Platform on top and something below. Idea, build something down here that spawns villagers, or scares villagers with zombies and catch the iron golems that inevitably spawn with that platform up there. How am I gonna, okay, so how, how am I gonna do this? Let's start with some glass. I'm trying to think of the best way I could get zombie, get a zombie and also beds, you know, in a space like this. So after a tiny bit of research, the one that I'm kind of drawing inspiration from seems to have a bunch of beds and like zombies compacted into this really small space. This is bizarre and weird and I'm gonna think of another way to do this. Oh gosh, oh, just a giant room. And here we can have water and a thing. And then we'll go one, two, three. And then we'll be all like, um, hang on. <laughs> Let's cover the top of this. Okay, so we've got that. 
let's try and build a platform up here. Let's get those walls again. Is it walls or fences? Let's try fences this time. I don't know if it's going to work better without, with or without fences. Is that, is that going <gasps> to... Oh, it broke only the lever. Let's just uh, build this out to here, I guess, and then go one, two. Is that... <gasps> okay, cut you back by one. Because I know it's got to be like the whole floor and then like one less. Can I do it with just fences? Do I want to try? I don't think I do because I know... Oh, the fences might burn. Let's try using walls. Let's just try that and then maybe we'll do the same thing over here. But then I guess we just uh, build something over here. I'm not exactly sure what to do, but what I do know, I'll tell you what I do know, is that the lava has to be one block off the ground. Oh, is that going to be an issue? I hope not. Is that going to be an issue? I really hope that's not going to be an issue. So we've got zombie, hopefully scaring those villagers something spawns up here and i catch it down here okay let's uh oh, i don't know if this is gonna work but we're gonna try it anyway um i know you get signs to hold up lava so let's now get some lava okay i guess there's nothing left to do but to try it so i guess uh okay so they're freaking out good Let's go time set 10,000. Oh, it's already worked. What? No way did I actually just like... Now, how much iron is it per golem? Oh, okay. And how often do golems spawn? I was fully not prepared for that to work. I mean, it relatively closely follows the design I saw in a YouTube video. So, I mean, you know, fair play, but... Well, <laughs> I guess uh, not to... Uh... Wow, I'm genuinely surprised that is so much faster than i was expecting it to be i'm genuinely taken aback by this how far apart would they have to be for it to be considered another like that's not that bad how far how how okay well there's one let me get a stopwatch out and i want to time yeah this thing's just going 40 oh okay so that was just under a minute so let's see if it's about three or four a minute that could be anywhere from 180 to 200 iron per hour, which is good, but I don't know if it's good enough. Do I really want to settle? I don't think I want to settle. I want to figure out how to go faster. I'm going to start by just straight up duplicating this setup. What if we get the iron golems away from that box? There we go. All right. So cool. Perfect. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a sword. Oh no. Do golems drop items when they hit the ground? Are there any iron golems up here? No. Now this one down here, is it still running? I think it is. Oh, it is. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Have I made some fatal error in the design of this or are they just not cooperating? I guess simpler is just better. I don't know what I'm trying to do. So the idea, as far as I can tell, is villagers down here, water up here, Lava down there. And I guess I should just be patient. And the zombie with a name tag, getting these villagers in here and the zombie there is gonna be a challenge in and of itself. This could be doable. I think, I think it's worth a shot. I think the only troubling part is gonna be getting that name tag. Anyways, I've made an iron farm. Look at me go. I've expanded my tiny little square Minecraft brain. This will hopefully assist me in my um, immersive Railroading Let's Play, because from what I understand, I'm going to need a metric ton of iron. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to check out the workshop series. A lot of figuring out happens in that series. And if you liked this, you'll definitely like those, but that is going to this video. So if you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, then do consider subscribing and sharing this video to your friends, places, things, and the blah, blah, blah. But that is going to do with this video. And I will see you on the next one. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.